Hi everyone, welcome to Backpack Escape to the World. It's been two months, I guess, since the last video. Last time I was in the guest house at work. Now I moved to my own place. The place here is quite noisy, as you probably can hear, because I'm next to a really noisy street. <sighs> yeah, it's really annoying and I probably will never get used to it, but it's just a couple of weeks. And I mean, I can sleep quite well still, but it's... I'm glad that I'm not gonna stay in this apartment forever. It's like, ugh. It's really bad. But yeah, like, I, I think I shouldn't focus on the apartment because that's not... That's, that's like a minor thing. Uh, in the past two months I've been working. The work was really cool. I enjoyed it a lot. And I also had the chance to travel within Japan with by, by train. That was really nice. Um, I just love Japanese trains. They are like on time, clean, like totally efficient way to travel and uh, I think in the world should be like more like Japanese trains. That would be awesome. So oh yeah, this this motorcycle people, they are like crazy. Like I don't know the like, if you watch animation, like Japanese anime, there are sometimes these motorcycle people and they are real. I've seen a lot of them from my balcony. But yeah, anyway, so um, for for traveling, um, I mainly stayed on Honshu, which is the main island from Japan, of Japan. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I'm forgetting languages and it's like all chaos in my head. And the trip was really nice. Um, it was like about a week. And I also went uh, to Nikko recently, which is uh, national park. I highly, I would highly recommend that. Uh, like a real highlight for me was like I went hiking up on the mountains. I was really cold, also like snow, and I found a temple. And the temple was called Onsenji. Onsenji. So it's actually the Onsen temple. So it's a hot spring temple where you could go and just uh, enjoy the hot spring, which just smells like sulfur a tiny little bit, so I did for the rest of the day. Yeah, but it was cool. I would I would really recommend like hiking in Nikko, that's, that's awesome. And um, so today is the day before New Year's Eve, and New Year's in Japan is a rather um, quiet thing. So you can of course watch fireworks, you're not allowed to um, how do you call it? Do fireworks by yourself? Um, but I think it's a good thing that you are not. So uh, you could either do that, there are places where people gather together and do the countdown. Um, but the really traditional Japanese thing is that you stay awake until midnight and then you go to a temple and to a shrine for the first time of the year. And many people stay awake and also watch the first sunrise and I've already done that a couple of years ago when I lived here <laughs> and what I didn't know was uh, I, so I went to Sensoji in Asakusa, it's like a really famous temple and it's really huge, it has a shrine next to it and I was like overwhelmed by the um, number of people that were there and so I recently read <laughs> that about 2 million people do this and choose this temple as the first temple for New Year's. Two million. And back then I I didn't, you know, do any research on that, so this year I wanna um, spend it in a more quiet place, so I actually will leave Tokyo, like not Tokyo area, but Tokyo like city center, um, up to the mountains. And uh, there is a shrine in the mountains, so and uh, because of that there will also be people there, so I will not be like entirely alone. So my plan is um, to hike to that shrine, to go there like around midnight, um, see what's going on there, and after midnight then I would like to hike to the top of the mountain, if the weather, you know, stays okay, because it's if it's gonna rain or so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but probably it's not gonna rain, so I will hike up the mountain, watch the sunrise from there, and um, apparently if it's a clear sky you can also see Mount Fuji, which is awesome. 
and uh, yeah, then just go back and probably sleep for the rest of the day. And there is an ambulance. I also live close to the center of ambulances and close to fire stations, so it's like a jackpot with this apartment. <laughs> and this one, oh, unfortunately, it's not saying it. So the ambulances in Japan, they are amazing. So um, they basically say, it's an ambulance. Please move to the side. Thank you that you've moved to the side. And also, like, they tell you which way they are going. So they say something like, be careful, we're going to the left. Be careful, we are going to the right. That is really cool. So yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna be doing for New Year's and uh, I'm really excited for that. And But the real purpose of this video is like a little announcement that I'm making. I'm still not 100% um, certain if it's gonna work, but I think it's at some point I wanna tell it. So next year, in the end of February, I will have to return to Germany from Japan and for work for me it's inevitable to fly. I try to go by train whenever I can. It's not so easy. So for going from Japan to Germany I took a couple of weeks vacation and I checked out if, it's, if there's a possibility to do this without flying and there is. So you can go by ferry from Japan to Korea and from Korea to Vladivostok in Russia and then basically take the Trans-Siberian Railway the other way around. And uh, from Moscow there are several options, like uh, I want to probably go through Ukraine and from Ukraine to um, Hungary through Austria to Germany, but I could also go to Latvia. But then, like, <laughs> after Riga, the, the train's not gonna be really available. I could go through Belarus and Poland, so that's kind of not decided yet. And why isn't it certain yet? So now my passport is with the Russian authorities, so I applied for a visa, because we have to do this as Germans. Um, and I already, like, booked hostels on the way and so on. But of course, if I'm not gonna get the visa, there's no way for me going to Russia. So fingers crossed that it's gonna work out. I will know about that in two weeks. And I'll probably post an update then. Yeah, so that's uh, basically all I wanted to say in this video. And um, yeah, as I said, please f fingers crossed that uh, I can do, this, um, can do this trip. It will take about three weeks and I'm really excited about it. And yeah, I would like to finish this video with two little sentences. The first one, I would like to wish everyone like a, a good slide into the new year, because that's what we say in German. And as always, don't panic. <laughs>